Hello, hello everyone. My name is Jorge Sanchez. I'm Global Product Manager at Siemens. I'm responsible for several Canix products. First, I would like to thank the Canix Association for the organization and of course all of you for being here with me. Today, I'm going to share some interesting Canis use cases oriented to HBSC. The star, the protagonist of the presentation is our new room unit, the Touch Control TC5. So let's get started. Let me start with a short introduction of the new Siemens Touch Control. It's, it is a Canis room unit with the following features. It has five inches. It has a built-in temperature sensor and it has a thermostat. Of course, uh, all the logic you need to control HBSC equipment. And it has a schedules, editor, multi-language uh, support, password management, and also includes a built-in proximity sensor that you can use to enable, disable the screen or to send commands through the bus. Also, uh, the device can be customized. You can customize the wallpaper, the screen server, and icons. It, it has a color light strip on the, on the bottom that uh, you can use for alarm indication, like red color, for example, and it also includes editor for logic and it seems. So as you can see, it's a complete room, 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 room unit with everything you need to successfully manage uh, a room. But what are these? These are just features. So the question is, what can I do? What, how can I use these features? This is what you are going to learn today. What kind of applications, what kind of solutions you can build with TC5? So use cases, what is it about? In this slide, you can see up to seven use cases that show how powerful the TC5 is and what can be done in combination with other products. As today is more about HBSC, I will present you the use cases that you can see on the red square. Four use cases with focus on HBSC. The rest of the use cases are included in the presentation, and I recommend you to check them out as well. I will put the link on the on the chat. Uh, there are two ETS projects available with all the settings. Use it to create these use cases. I also I will add I will post the 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 link to the to the ETS project uh, in the chat. So use cases really I think is the best way to understand the product and the features because not everybody can understand what this or that parameter is for, but everyone can understand an application. What can I do with such parameter, a solution, an application? So the structure of the presentation. Uh, for each use case, you will find three pages. On the first one, uh, the requirements. This is the customer. The customer is asking us for something. So what the customer is asking for. Then the proposal. What do we have? Which products do we have in Siemens to meet these requirements? Uh, a combination of products. Uh, on page number two, you have the solutions, the features, the features that we need to meet these requirements, the settings in the ETS project. Then you will find some notes to indicate where do you have to go in the ETS demo project to check these settings. And then on a screenshot, if you don't have a TC5, I provide a, a screenshot to show you what the solution will like for the end customer. And then on page number three, all the related features, what else can be done related to the use case with the TC5, other features, and other options that what I mean here is all the products that we have in Siemens to uh, meet these requirements. So I really think this type of structure makes it easier to follow the use cases and get all the details, no matter how much you know about Canix. So let's get started. Let's move directly to the first use case about HDSE, which is, HVC control of radiant sailing is just an example. It could be flow heating, it could be radiator. In this case, the customer is asking for radiant control, cooling, heating, temperature, operating modes, and on off classical mechanics stuff. Uh, additionally, 
uh, we're talking about an open space, so the customer doesn't want to measure the temperature only on the wall. So we have to take into account, we have to, we need more inputs around the room. And customer wants to have an automatic function to switch on off the thermostats. Okay, this is the requirements. What do we have? Proposal, the TC5, of course, uh, CANX valve actuators, and in this case, presses detector white. It's just an example. Okay, let's see the solution. Okay, in the TC5, we have a thermostat. So for the first meeting, uh, the first requirement, the radiant ceiling, again, could be floor heating, it could be radiator. So we have to, to configure the thermostat in the TC5. Here we can uh, configure the general temperature control page, and we have to enable, disable the controls that we want. And in this case, we, ability, uh, we enable set point, cooling, heating, operating mode, and on-off. And automatically, the TC5 generates a page that you can see on the right. This is really for the end customer with all the controls that we enabled in the TC5, in the ETS. So really easy to commission and even easier to use. You see the HMI is very user-friendly, very easy to change the set point with the finger and to switch on all the different controls. Okay, this is just for the end customer, uh, for the system integrator. For us, the logic behind, how do we configure the thermostat? Well, uh, we have predefined loops. We have predefined loops that optimize the settings for different kind of equipments. In this case, we could use for heating, child ceiling, we have more. And if you want to use your own parameters, of course, you can, you, you can do it. You can put a user defined and then do the pulse or the, the Kelvin grads, all this stuff you can commission as you want. But in this case, you, you don't really want, you want to do it fast, you want to use a predefined loop, they are available. So this was the first requirement. We have the thermostat for that, we have the settings for that. Regarding the second one, remember the customer wants us to, to use other input inputs from the room. The TC5 has a built-in temperature sensor. But in this case, as the requirement, it means, okay, we need more. We could took any canic sensor, of course, or we could use the presence detector wide from Siemens that they have built-in temperature sensors. So we can receive different values from the room, weight them together with the built-in temperature sensor of the TC5, 50, 50, 80, 20, it's up to you. And then we generate a, a, a temperature that we use as a reference for the TC5. Okay, that's also requirement met. And regarding the automatic function, TC5 has a schedulers editor. So we just need to create a schedulers to link to the thermostat in turn, internally. And then we can, for example, start the working day with comfort and, and the working day with protection mode as an example. So requirements are met. Here you see, check out the ETS project. So here's what, if you open the ETS demo projects that I will provide you, you can with the asterisk, you know where do you have to go to see how these settings are commissioned. So, and other related features, what else can be done? Regarding these predefined loops, as I mentioned, we have much more. We have for hot water heating, electrical heating, split. So with the optimized settings for that kind of equipment, but if you want to use your own parameters, just you can just user define it. Of course, we have this kind of controls on off, uh, pay WBM, pay I control. It's up to you what you want to choose. Regarding the outputs, one, two, one, eight, one bit, eight byte, anything is possible. And about the temperatures, you can choose if you want to, to, to control or to change the temperature with absolute or relative values. So as you can see, very complete. You have a thermostat in the TC5, a Canis thermostat in the TC5. Other options, other products, we have a new valve actuators that also could be used in this use case. So this was the first use case about HVAC. Radiant, radiant ceiling, it could be for heating, it could be radiator. And let's move to the second one. Number two, here is the same room, but now we have a fan coil. So it's more or less the same requirements as, bef as before, but now we have to include fan speed. Cool. And we have all the requirements. So the customer wants to have, a, wants to protect 
the the TC5, the settings page. I will setting page of the TC5, and then a cleaning mode is needed. Okay, proposal again TC5. And here we need a Canix fine collectuator. Let's check the solution. So again, okay, here we have the thermostat in the TC5. We have to choose control temperature page, and the only difference is that now we have to enable fan speed because it's a fan. And in the predefined loops, it's recommended to use fan coil. And then we have the settings optimized for this control. But if you want, you can choose just as defined and you uh, use the settings uh, that you want. Easy. Then regarding password protection, uh, the TC5 has a T, uh, settings page that can be um, operated directly from uh, with the panel. This is used to, to enable the canis programming, the built-in proximity sensor, change volume, brightness. Maybe you want this to, to be protected with a password. So you can do it with the ETS just to set the password and then only people who know this password can use the settings page or administration page directly on the TC5. The only thing which is not protected is the cleaning mode, that this is the other requirement, okay? So the cleaning mode is always available, so the people who work cleaning the building can just pass the button, and then during a set time, the screen will be frozen, so it can be easily cleaned. Okay, that was the solution for this uh, second use case. Other related features as the same as before, all related to the thermostat that we have in the TC5. But regarding the password and the, 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 the protection, we can use, we can protect the whole TC5, not only the settings page or the administration page, but all the device. So meaning that only people who know a password can really use all the TC5. That also can be very useful in some applications. So that was the second use case, control of fine call. Remember, we have the thermostat for uh, control properly this equipment in the TC5. Then let's move to the third one, which is VRF system, okay? So here we have a VRF system. The requirement is to operate the BRF system with different modes, temperature, fan, speed, on, off, okay? And additionally, we have a other requirement, which is to lock, remotely lock and unlock the screen. Well, the proposal, TC5 again, and we need a Canis BRF gateway too. Let's check the solution. So here in the TC5, we have our own page to control VRF. So you just have to choose in the settings in the TC5 in the ATS VRF uh, and automatically the TC5 generates a page, you can see here on the right, with all the controls you need to control properly a uh, VRF. Very easy to commission and even easier to use. To change the test set point, uh, change the fan, the modes, you have all in, in the screen. So the requirement is met, very easy. But remember, this is an operator. We need a Canis VRF gateway on the other side. Regarding the other requirements, so to lock, unlock, unlock the, the, the panel remotely, we have a communication object for that. So we provide a communication object. So remotely, the customer can lock and unlock the whole panel. So that also can be very useful in many applications. All the related features regarding the lock, uh, each page has a communication object. So meaning you don't want to, to lock or unlock the whole panel, you can choose, okay, maybe in this case, I just want to lock the lighting page or the BRF page or whatever, but I want the others to be unlocked always. So it's very flexible, very complete. You just, just uh, choose which uh, page you want to unlock lock on a lock remotely because each page of the TC5 has its communication object for that. So that was the third use case, control a BRF system. And let's move to the last one, which is ventilation, control of ventilation. So we have these requirements, fan on off, heat recovery, filter life content and control based on CO2 level. 
And additionally, customer wants to have an alarm to, fill, to change the filter and a hit bit function. Hmm. Proposal, DC5, switching uh, actuators, and again, we can use here the process detector white. Let's see the solution. So for the ventilation, as in the case of the VRF, we have an own page for the ventilation. So when you choose ventilation in the TC5, automatically it generates the page optimized with the controls you need to control and ventilation. So you have the CO2 value and you can change the, main, the, the modes, you can uh, switch on off the heat recovery and all this stuff. So automatically generated, very easy to use. Remember that the TC5 has a built-in temperature sensor. So we need to receive the CO2 value from the bus. Okay. In this case, we can use the process detectors white because they have built-in temperature, humidity, and CO2 sensors. So we can receive the value from them. Of course, we can use any other, any other CANIC sensor. And with this CO2 value, this is the value that we the TC5 takes as reference to control the ventilation. Very easy to use. Then alarm. So we, we, the customer wants to alarm for for the to know when he has to change the filter. We can use the color strip, this LED color strip that we have in the TC5. We can use it as an alarm indication. We can configure in the TC5. Then when the filter has to be changed, that the LED flash red, for example. So. So the, this is a visual indication of that something is going on. And in this case, the filter has to be changed. So this is a, an application for the color strip. And the other requirement was to have a hit fit uh, function. Yes, we have a communication object for that, typical communication object that uh, periodically sends a telegram to the bus. Okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So this is the hit bit function that is included in the TC5. All the features. So here the ventilation in the example was using CO2 values as a reference, but we could use PM25 as well. And regarding the color strip, we use it for filter change, but you can imagine we can use it for anything we want. We could use it for CO2 level alarm. We can configure for this traffic light system function now that if the high quality is good, then we have green. If it's not that good, yellow, if the air quality is low, then we can have this LED uh, in red color. So very easy to, to see how are the, the CO2 levels in the room. And other options for the use case, where we have a CANIC sensor, we have other actuators that can be used in this use case. Okay, that was the last one uh, about ventilation. And so let me go to the takeaways. Here you have some conclusions that will help you consolidate what you have learned. As you can see, are just features, but I'm sure that now you can see them differently because now you know what you can do with them, with some of them, with the schedulers, with the LED strip, with the thermostat, with the passwords, and there are many more that you can find in the other use cases related to lighting and blinds or energy management. And this is the last slide of the presentation. It's just to suggest actions that you can take to really master the TC5. So the first one, take a look at the, at the technical documentation, the marketing documentation to, to see the, the, the TC5. Then the second one, check the use cases, all the presentation with all the, 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 the use cases together with the demo project of the ATS, that you will really understand the functions. Then buy one, acquire one, download the parameters from the demo project. You will see the functions by yourself. If you have questions, you have feedback, please contact me. And the last one, which is always the best tip, the best suggestion in Canix, just play with the device. Play with the device, change parameter, download, test, download again, change something, whatever you know and you will build your own use cases. This is the best way to learn in Canix, you know, learn by doing programming testing. So now you know the TC5, now you know how powerful it is, and now you know what you can do with it in relation to HDSC applications. I recommend to take a look at the rest of the use case to see how powerful the TC5 is. Thank you very much for your attention.